going along quite well and people are excited, nervous. They're nervous about making the June 7th, but they're also excited. June 7th is looming large for these volunteers from the group Maine's First Ship. I'm plugging up the holes that have the, the screws that are screwing down the planking. After more than a decade of working inside this bath dry dock, that's the day they'll move this ship just a few feet outside into the Kennebec River. We need to make sure that it's watertight before it's launched, of course. So that means we have to finish the caulking, which is mostly finished, paint it. Once all that happens, that will begin the final push to finishing this recreation of the historic Virginia. A pinnace-type ship built in 1607 by members of the short-lived Popham colony in present-day Phippsburg. What I would say is it's a very good best guess of what a London shipwright would have built in 1607. This is a wooden dowel that goes all the way through the boat. And then Lead shipwright stuff. Rob Stevens admits it's impossible to know exactly what the first Virginia looked like. No plans exist. There's only the extensive research by one volunteer. And he just researched, you know, all the things that were written about how do you design a boat in 1610, you know, looked at the paintings, talked to the archaeologists. By the time it's completely finished in spring of 2021, the Virginia will offer sailing excursions up and down the Kennebec. It'll give people a sense of place to have a good history of, you know, know your history about the area. Even throughout construction, it's offered visitors a glimpse into one of North America's original colonies and its original ship. The many years of working, planning, fundraising, there's good reason to be a bit nervous, but a whole lot excited. Just people wander through and are so excited to get to come up and see a boat being built. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to cross the bridge and see it sitting there, here in the water. And of course, one major difference between the original Virginia and this recreation, this one must be totally Coast Guard certified. So even though it will look old, it will still feature all of the modern day safety features.